Did you know that the first ever recorded Bitcoin transaction was for two pizzas costing 10,000 Bitcoins in 2010? Now let's take a quick leap back to the year 2009. In the midst of economic turmoil, a certain Satoshi Nakamoto, a name shrouded in mystery, gave birth to Bitcoin. Nakamoto, whether a lone genius or a group of visionaries, introduced Bitcoin as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, a revolution in financial technology. And then in 2010 came the first ever Bitcoin transaction. A man named Laszlo Hanyech made history by purchasing two pizzas for a whopping 10,000 Bitcoins. Yes, you heard it right, 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas. Talk about a hearty meal, huh? But don't get too hungry just yet. Back then, Bitcoin was primarily a means of transacting value, a digital cash of sorts, and not the digital gold it's perceived as today. Imagine having 10,000 Bitcoins for a couple of pizzas today, you could buy not just a pizzeria, but the whole pizza chain. From being a geeky currency, Bitcoin rose to fame and hit an all-time high in 2017. Let's take a stroll down memory lane back to 2010, Bitcoin, then a fledgling currency known only to a niche group of computer whizzes, began to experience an exponential rise in value. A dollar could net you hundreds of Bitcoins, a far cry from the towering heights it would reach just seven years later. Then came the first Bitcoin halving event in 2012. This was a seismic moment in crypto history. Essentially, the rewards for Bitcoin mining were halved, reducing the influx of new Bitcoins and creating a scarcity that drove prices up. You see, it's classic supply and demand at work. Less supply, greater demand, higher prices. Fast forward to 2015. The crypto world was about to be shaken up once again with the introduction of Ethereum. This wasn't just another cryptocurrency, oh no. Ethereum brought with it smart contracts and decentralized applications, adding a whole new layer to the blockchain technology. This was like inventing the wheel and then suddenly introducing the concept of a car. Now let's talk about the year 2017, a year that still haunts many crypto investors. The crypto boom was in full swing, with Bitcoin reaching dizzying heights. But what goes up must come down, and boy did it come down. Bitcoin, along with the entire crypto market, crashed spectacularly. It was like watching a fireworks display, beautiful in its ascent, but ultimately ending in a loud, shocking bang. And as for the investors? Well, let's just say that some got a harsh lesson in the volatility of digital currencies. It was like riding a roller coaster without a seatbelt. A thrilling ride, but not for the faint-hearted. It was a roller coaster ride, wasn't it? But the story doesn't end there. Because as we all know, after every fall, there's a chance for a rise. And boy, did crypto rise again. But that's a tale for another time. Just like a phoenix, cryptocurrencies rose from the ashes, stronger and more diverse than ever. Following the great crash of 2017, cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin didn't just survive, they thrived. This resilience is a testament to the robustness of the underlying blockchain technology and the faith of the crypto community. In the aftermath of the crash, we witnessed the emergence of decentralized finance or DeFi, an innovation that sought to decentralize traditional financial systems. With DeFi, users could borrow, lend, and earn interest on their crypto assets, all without the need for a traditional bank. Now isn't that a banker's nightmare? Around the same time, non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, started making waves in the crypto world. These unique digital assets, which could represent anything from digital artwork to virtual real estate, brought a new dimension to the world of crypto. Imagine owning a virtual Van Gogh or a digital duplex in cyberspace. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? As cryptocurrencies became more diverse and innovative, they started gaining recognition from major companies and governments. From Tesla accepting Bitcoin as payment, to El Salvador declaring it legal tender, the adoption of cryptocurrencies is increasing at a phenomenal rate. It's like watching a shy kid at a party suddenly becoming the life of the party. But it's not just about Bitcoin anymore. As we head into 2024, there are more than 10,000 different cryptocurrencies in the market. From Ethereum to Dogecoin, from Ripple to Cardano, it's a veritable smorgasbord of digital currency. And just like a zoo, each one has its own unique traits and habitats. So as we stand on the precipice of a new year, one thing is clear. Cryptocurrencies aren't just a fad, they're here to stay. They've weathered storms, sparked innovations, and have been adopted by major players. So buckle up, because the crypto ride is far from over. And here we are, heading into 2024, with more than 10,000 different cryptocurrencies in the market. 
It's like a virtual zoo out there.